25 now. I'm absolutely addicted to this place. And I've been coming here every week almost for six years talking about British imperialism. It's not discussed enough. In the, in the liberal media, in the right wing media, across all of the media, Britain is made out to be a, a, a beacon of. What was the one I heard recently? Theresa May said, We are sponsors of the rules based international order. The rules based international order. This is the same nation that illegally invaded uh, Iraq. Um, without consulting the United Nations Security Council. Invaded, and that, that led to the death of a million Iraqis and, and how many thousand British soldiers, right? Wow. Hundreds of British soldiers. Oh, come on, right? Iraq, Iraq is still a mess to this day. Iraq is still having political problems. Take right? Libya, for example. Another illegal invasion. When NATO bombed Libya, it killed about 40,000 people. Libya, for all of its problems, was a relatively stable country before NATO went in and bombed it. Now in Libya, you have the government is so frightened of its own people it has to convene on a cruise ship just off the Mediterranean. So they can't even take place in their own country. They can't have their meetings. All right. You have genuine slave auctions happening in Libya today. All right. That's a product of the disintegration left by British imperialism. Libya, Libya cannot be seen as a normal country. You know, I'm not saying that they are normal. You know, like, like the power that the oil company and all the money that moves around the oil company generally. It just makes so much power on them. So we like Gaddafi when Tony Blair did his deal in the desert. Remember when Tony Blair shook hands with Gaddafi because Gaddafi was in that he was open to are you okay with uh, you know, office are you oil. Okay with Remember, all these countries want to sell their oil to Iraq, Libya, they all want to sell it to us. But then when well, Gaddafi was, uh, starts proof. mentioning the gold dinar, creating a new currency for, for Africa, Gaddafi tried his best to create a pan-Arab state, yeah. right? one yeah, big Arab country, the big dream of a lot of Arabs, secular Arabs, right? They wanted to have it. He failed at that, so he went to Africa and he tried to create an African currency, African passport, African Union, so that the Africans could finally take control of their destiny and not have France and Britain running all their resources and taking them, right? For that, Gaddafi had to be kicked out. For that, Gaddafi had to be disciplined. Remember, Britain has no problem with dictatorships. We are supporting dictatorships right now in Nigeria, in Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, the list goes on and on. Why would they kill us over the Syrian Indonesia? We have response to terrorism in Papua New Guinea, in Sri Lanka. Britain is very involved in the world. Britain is a very active world. We really want to force that. And yet, so Britain is no problem with dictatorship. No one said they support that. The problem we have is dictatorship that don't do what we want. So remember, Afghans, we feel sorry for the Afghan women and the poor Afghan girls when their regime is against our interests. Right, right across the Saudi Arabia, we don't see women the same. Yeah, but even if it was so wrong, we don't complain about that. And remember, this is not just the right wing media, this is in the Guardian and the, and the Independent as well. Right across the spectrum, they ignore this history. They completely ignore this Why is it religious? Why, is it like, why are you making it religious? I don't even go that far back. The lady is talking about something that happened in the 1820s. We could talk about Britain in the 1820s, what we were doing in Canada and in Australia and all these places. Good. But well, what does that have to do with it? I'm not even that far back. We have to go to find serious examples of British imperialism. I mentioned the fact that we were involved in Why are you making it Islam? America why are you making it religious? Why are you making it religious? We're not here for a religious debate. We're not here for a religious debate. We're not here for the religious debate we're not here for a religious debate go there to for your religious debate we're not, this is not this is a political debate this is a religious debate go there and talk their religion no Iraq has nothing to do with religion it's politics you're making it religious you're making it religious you're making it religious he's talking about politics woman so go and save Syria go and save Syria go to Syria and save Syria Stop, this is not a religious conversation. This is not. Are you are you proud of all the murdered Syrians? Are you? Go to Syria and help them. I don't. This is a political conversation. Don't make it a Christian conversation. It's not a Christian versus Muslim conversation. Are you going to keep on being racist? I am. We're going to talk to you. I'm having a conversation too. I don't care. I can say what I want. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. What about the native Canadians? What about the Maoris who got raped by Christian missionaries? He said himself, Britain is the right. right. Neo-Nazi, far right. 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 Far right.
Racist! 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 Sorry, you got to... You don't like the truth, do Take you? the religious conversation there. 19, genocide is Syrian Christians. 19, so go and talk to them over there. This is a political conversation. This is political. What about the Aborigines? I don't care. What about the Aborigines? What about the Aborigines? What about the Aborigines? What about the Aborigines? You're moist. You're moist. What about the Iraqis? You're moist. You're moist. What about the Christians? So go and fight in Syria then. Go and fight with the Christians in Syria. Go back. There's the there's the airport. Go to Syria, woman. Go and help your Christian brothers in Syria. They're waiting for you. Go to Lebanon. Go to Lebanon and help your Christian brothers in Lebanon. They're fucking dying. Stupid woman. Stupid fucking racist. You're crying. You're fucking crying. Stupid woman. Far right. Far right. Far right. Racist. Far right. KKK. Yeah, 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 it is. I don't care, I can say whatever. I don't care, I don't care, I say whatever. I just say I believe you. I believe that it happened. I'm not saying it never happened. Are you crazy? No, that sounds like something that could have happened. I'll look into it. I don't know for sure, but it sounds... It probably did, but she's making a religious conversation. It sounds like something that might have happened. It's a political conversation. It's not religious. I'm not aware of it. But listen, can I tell you? I don't think Britain is a bad country. I just think it's a fucking political conversation. Can I talk to you? Sorry. Can I talk to you? Say what I want. I want to say what I want. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I want. I don't think Britain is a bad country. I think they're all government. I think we ought to separate the government from the people. Remember, the British government is not the same as the British people. When I say that Britain is a sponsor of radical Islam, I'm not saying the average British person is that. For the average British person, I'm sure, doesn't want Britain supporting Saudi Arabia. Right? And backing that regime. That, the average British person has no idea. Ask the average British person what they think about what's going on in Palestine. They're really confused. A lot of them, they think it has something to do with religion. They think maybe both sides have an equal claim to some land. They don't really know. Because the media doesn't inform them properly what's going on there. Do you know? Why do you have so I'm not saying I know everything. Palestine is incredibly complicated. Palestine is an example of a country created by Britain as a way to sustain the British Empire. Along with Egypt, Palestine runs along the Suez Canal. The Suez Canal is the most important strategic point on Earth, without a doubt. Even now, even after so many years, Britain wanted to control Palestine to make sure that it could protect the other side of the, the, uh, the, the body of water. Right? It had Egypt and wanted Palestine as well. Now, to that end, in the 1930s, when the Palestinians rose up and they didn't want Britain anymore, they tried to kick them out, the British Empire responded by killing one in ten Palestinian adult men. So it was the first intifada that failed completely. And still, Palestine still hasn't gotten anywhere today. Partly because Palestine is a corrupt and incompetent leadership. Partly because the Middle East is full of dictators that won't help them. Partly because of British imperialism and American right. If America wants to stop what's going on in Palestine, they can stop it like that. They could say to Israel, stop it. And America wants to, they could, but they don't want to. Because America needs Israel, they need a foot on the Middle East. They're an ally that can do it. Like Saudi Arabia, like Egypt. Listen, I, I want to talk to this lady here because what you're saying is very relevant. You know, sorry, guys, can I respond? I have a lot of problems with Islam, okay? I'm anti-religious. I don't believe in any religion, all right? I'm an atheist. So for me, Islam is a no. It's a bad idea, okay? It's basically irrational. It's like Christianity or Hinduism. It's an imaginary construct taken too literally. Because it's, it's irrational, okay? And it's very easy. It's child, it is child's play to prove to you how ridiculous religion is. It's quite pointless. It's very easy. It takes two seconds to realize religion makes no sense. But, but I'm interested not... Listen, I'm trying to talk to the lady. I want to respond to you. Now, yeah, Islam has a lot of problems. Is Islamic regimes would be doing a lot of damage without Britain helping you. All right? Like, you know, Islamism, radical Islam, it'll be a problem without Britain. I'm not saying Britain created all the problems in the Middle East. There'll be major divides and violence there without Britain. What I'm saying is that Britain is a major sponsor of radical Islam. And if this lady was listening to me, and if she really cared about stopping radical Islam, she'd be trying to look at the way the British government has for years sponsored radical Islam in the Middle East. Yeah. That's what she'd be wondering about. She doesn't want shit. Maybe Remember, she's not educated enough. Right Maybe, she's not educated Maybe she's not educated enough. Maybe she's not educated enough. People like 
like Tommy Robinson. They'll go on and on about Muslims. All she wants to do is blame Islam. Who killed Santa Claus? Muslims did. Who killed the Tibu? Who killed the Tibu? Don't entertain her. Don't entertain her. She might sound crazy. Islam! And right now, the lady's ignoring me because she knows I'm right. She's challenging me to because she knows what I'm saying is completely right. no presence, man. If you, if you actually listen to me, you would know I agree with you on a lot of things. She thinks Islam's the boogeyman. She thinks Islam killed Santa Claus. I'm sorry, but Islam is... Islam killed the Easter Bunny. Islam is... I, the, I think Islam Muslim is, side, World War II. Muslims did Hiroshima. They landed Hiroshima upon it. Was the Muslims? Every other religion is totally irrational. Makes no sense. Hitler was a Muslim. Islam is just as bad as any religion. George Sterling was a Muslim. He was a Muslim. They should focus on all religion. They should show how all religion is. The reason she's at that age is because she's a Muslim. I think Islam is wrong as well. Okay. The thing is, we should just focus on Islam. All religion is rubbish. What have you studied? All religion is right, that's, that's organized that's or not. Whether it's in church or it's their own spirituality, this stuff is irrational. It should be, your beliefs should be based on evidence. But okay? it helps it help people live every day, religion. you know. No, like life is so do drugs. Some people, I, I take, get that. some people drink alcohol because it helps them relax. Okay, yeah. That doesn't mean you should drink loads of alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing with religion. Some, some people feel really lonely, so they pray to God, and they, whether it's Allah or God, whatever to have an imaginary friend to talk to. It's still wrong. Just because it makes you feel better doesn't mean it's right. I'm sorry, atheism is the only logical response to religion. Where do we come from? I am absolutely but isn't atheism a religion itself, though? Atheism is not a religion. It is a religion. Wait, 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 don't make it religion. Are you sure? But look, the lady here is talking about talk Islam, politics, right? right? Yeah. But she won't talk about... Listen, this is she what gets talk me about, about the far right. Yeah, okay. The far right will complain about Islam endlessly. And they have a point Just like her. But when do I ever hear the far right? When did I ever hear Tommy Robinson or this lady here yeah. talking about how Britain supports some of the most radical Islamic regimes in the Middle East? Speak that. When do I ever hear oh, hey, hey. Hey. When, when have the far right ever got up on the side right, and said, you're far you know right, I man. like the fact that you're Boris Johnson right. is, a, is a friend of the government of Saudi Arabia. Yeah. I've never heard Tommy Robinson say anything like this. Tommy Robinson goes after poor Muslims. That's what I'm saying. He goes after the poor Muslims who can't defend themselves. He goes after the poor Muslims supposedly stealing our jobs, stealing our housing. The, the powerless Muslims. The immigrants who have no power. The far right will victimize them. They'll never go no, but you always talk about Islam. Islam. Islam killed Santa Claus. The Islam side, Muslim side, World War Two. Tommy Robinson is far right. He gets. And listen, he's not a Nazi, but he's getting. This guy's far right as well. Look at him. Look at this guy. He's, he's about as far right as he gets. Far right. Number one most handsome man in Europe. I want you to join the far right. Number one most handsome man. I'm not far right. Uh, you know me. I'm anti-feminazism. Anything else? I don't really give a shit. When do you ever hear the far right? Sorry. Saying Tommy Robinson. You ask me if Tommy Robinson's far right. Why is he far right? What 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 it makes him far right? Because he's going to because he deflects, he deflects um, economic problems onto cultural questions about English nationalism. An English nationalist, and English nationalism is fundamentally, is fundamentally irrational, sentimental, and, and uncompassionate to the rest of the world. It's based on imperialism. Sorry. Because Engl English nationalism is a joke. But I, like any nationalism, nationalism is just a kind of religion. Whether it's the nation of Islam being. Nationalist. Whether it's Ukraine, whether it's Ukrainian nationalists trying to fight the Russians, Ukraine, 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 or you English nationalists, all nationalists, is an infantile design. I completely believe Albert Einstein. What Albert Einstein said about nationalism is completely bang on. Nationalism is an infantile disorder, just like religion. Nationalism is an escape. Supporting a football team, totally irrational. Communism is a much better belief system. But it depends what kind of communism. It depends what kind of communism you have. 
if you have the kind of communism which my friend had to suffer under in Ukraine, or his family had to back then, then no, I reject communism. Excuse me, it was that if the communism is gen based on genuine uh, equality, democracy, control of your world, your workplace, and the China is not communist. China is capitalist, and it's a worse and it's authoritarian government. It has the communist symbol. It has the communist symbol. And communist language, and communist symbol. It doesn't make you communist. You can still be capitalist. That's what China is. China is about as capitalist as me. I'm joining English. You have to fight for English. Reject any irrational religion. Reject any irrational 